Okay, so our topology is ready and we import the topology. Now let's start to configure. So in this layer, we will configure these three firewall, HQ firewall, branch firewall and DC firewall. The initial configuration which is required to configure these three firewall. Okay, so uh, we will configure the host name of the device. Okay, I will show you one then I will copy paste because this is not NSE4. Our focus is in on 40 manager. Okay, so we're gonna change the name and also the admin timeout. Then we will configure the management interface, which is port number five. We will give the name to management. We will change the mode to static in case if it is dynamic. We will put the management IP. We will allow ping and SSH. Then there is two interfaces, port one and port two. We will configure those. And we will set the alias when one, set the mode and the IP is 1.1 and also ping will be allowed and the role will be when. Similarly, when two, which is this interface. So 2.1, okay, and then the alias, then the IP address, and then the LAN interface, this port three. So we will configure port three as well. Okay, we will set the LAN, set mode static, and we will allow ping and keep in mind we will allow 40 manager as well because we will register this device through port 3 here and 40 manager so we need to allow here fgm uh, means the 40 manager okay and the role is lan also we will configure dns so that, that the devices can reach to the internet and we will configure two static route because we have two wan connectivity so here one is 1.254 and second is 2.254. Okay, 1.254 this one and 2.254. Why? You can do all these things through CLI, but you need to know this through uh, through GUI. You can do this uh, graphically as well, but let's do it through CLI. It's so easy, okay? Uh, graphically, it will take more time and through CLI, just copy paste and you are done. So let me open HQ forward through CLI console uh, admin and there is no password enter new password 123 confirm 123 and now I'm here. Okay, so there is no configuration. Uh, first, I will go to config system global and here I will set the host name. Okay, the host name we decide the HQ firewall. Okay, and set uh, admin timeout. Okay admin timeout there is admin timeout okay admin it's so many admin by the way i need to type some more so yeah admin timeout 480 this is the last things okay and you can set the theme as well but anyway and so this is the first thing so i change the uh, name okay uh, name of the device host name then config system interface and then I need to go to each and every interface Okay, first I need to configure port 5 for management. So the management is uh, config system interface uh, and edit port number 5 tape button port number 5 sorry 3 4 5 and here what I need to do port number five you can type show full configuration it will show you all the configuration which you can set on this port number five okay but i just need to change the mode set mode static okay and i need to do this one set mode static second i need to set allowed access http https ping and what else i need to allow um, ssh that's it and set IP set IP so we decide to put this IP 114 so let me copy from here and slash 24 and end uh, okay let me give them a name as well so config system interface and edit port 5 okay and you know I told you you can set the device name so it will be easy uh, set alias so with the set alias you can do alias sorry uh, mgmt and end okay that's it so show system interface question mark 
Now I can copy this IP and I can put them in the browser to access this firewall in my browser. Okay, so let me type this IP admin and password we set to 123. Okay, so I told you you can configure this firewall begin. I will use optimal dashboard. Okay, uncheck this one. So I can configure this device graphically as well. If it is easy for you to do it graphically, and so you can do it. I only configure the name HQ firewall and I configure management port. That's the only thing I done it right now. Management, I give them alias management, manual IP, I enable all these. Okay, this is the only thing I done and I change the uh, host name, but other interfaces are not done. So let me do it through CLI. Okay, it's so easy. So let me take the script and I will tell you. So management is done. Now similarly, you need to go to config system interface. Config system interface, go to port number one, change the name to when one, set the mode static, put this IP allowed ping and set the role when. I will show you graphically as well. So let me copy this one and paste. So what I done, I basically let me go to port one. So if I refresh, okay, now, so I change this port one, port one jump here. So what I done, I say, uh, set the alias. If I compare the script, so I will, yeah. So I go to edit port one. Okay, this is port one. I change the alias to when one, you can see when one, I set the mode static this static IP and I put this IP 1.1 and I allowed ping only this ping and set the role this role role is when it's easy yeah so here graphically it will take much time and it's so easy through CLI just copy paste I'm doing one by one otherwise you just copy all and paste and you are done similarly port 2 so I will go to config system port 2 then I will say alias when to mode static 2.1 ping and role is when correct and paste and we are done. So if I go to graphically again, so refresh, let me refresh. So you see there is when to, when to is already configured. So I hope so it's so easy through CLI. So let's go back to HQ and what else we need to configure port three, which is the LAN one. Okay, the LAN one, so let me paste. So I say go to port three, uh, set the uh, alias LAN, mode static, 10.0.1.254, allowed ping and also 40 manager, and role is LAN, let me show you. So if I go to interface, so LAN, what I done, alias LAN, role LAN, manual IP, ping and 40 manager is allowed. That's it because we will access this one. So 10.0.1254, I set this IP. It's so easy to do it uh, through CLI. What else I need to do? I need to configure DNS. So let me copy and paste the DNS and we are done. So if I go to DNS, so basically I configure this DNS. And what else I need to configure to static route. So let me explain you quickly. I say go to config router static uh, edit the first one destination any uh, device port is one gateway is 1.254 go to next then again and 2.254 because we have two WAN connectivity so let me copy this one and paste and we are done and let me show you quickly what I done so static route I create two route I say destination is zero gateway is this one by the way you can verify from here look at Configure router static, edit one, set the gateway, set the device port, next and done. So it's so easy to do it. So I hope so you get the idea and now let's go the policy I need to configure. Let me quickly explain you the policy. So I say I go to config firewall policy, create a first policy, name the policy LAN to when one, uh, the source interface is port three and destination is port one, source is any, destination is any, action is accept, should use it always, services is all, enable logs, enable net, and enable status. And we are done. So, and also there is a second. So I create two for when one and when two. So let me copy this one and paste and done. And let me show you here what I done. 
so if I go to policy and object firewall policy so rather than to create here I say lane to when one okay I say the name is lane to when one incoming is from port 3 if I show you like here I say source interface is port 3 going to port 1 which is when one destination is all source is all action is accept schedule is always log is enable which is this logs okay services is all services is this one and net is enable i enable this net and status this one status is enable and done and similarly i create this second policy so it was easy and now these three interfaces these two interface this interface this one dns and route and also the policy has been created so easy so my hq firewall is ready now let's move to the data center now i will just copy and paste because now you know how to do it one two three one two three and we are here so let me copy and paste the script for data center uh, first we will change the name then the interface management interface then when one then when two uh, then the lane interface then dns then two static route and then the firewall policy this time i put in one policy both the interfaces and copy and paste and done so look at now it was so easy to configure through graphically rather than and you can do it through cli so quickly admin and one two three so now i access data center firewall and one click and everything is ready let me click ok okay if i go to network so there should be four interfaces ready just with copy paste okay so lane 10.0.2 management 114.220 when 1 and when 2 and if i go to dns dns is ready and if i go to static route to static route is ready and if i go to firewall policy so this time i put both the interfaces under one you can do it yeah we know this one lane to when one and when two here i put separately just to show you that it's also possible and finally uh, the branch firewall admin no password one two three one two three and branch firewall is basically only one when one default route okay so i have the configuration i'd say change the host name management interface when one lane only dns and one static route and one firewall policy copy and branch firewall paste and done we are done and it was so easy to configure and if i copy this ip it will be accessible in my browser because this management cloud is connected admin one two three and it will ask first time the basic configuration okay i did not change the name for some reason so it's uh, branch firewall it should be so it's accessible and now let's see everything is apply or not i need to verify okay and here is lane is configured 10.0.3 10.0.3.254 uh, and we have only one when 5.1 okay and dns is there static route is only one 5.254 and let's go to firewall policy okay and there is lane to when policy as well and we are done the only thing it doesn't change the host name maybe oh, okay i did not copy properly i copy from here that's why i did not change the uh, name so you need to copy properly then it will do it yeah this was the only things which we missed and that's it so if i go down okay also keep in mind and what i done uh, i enable 40 manager okay on the van as well so this is the dns configuration this is the dc firewall configuration and this is the branch firewall which we done we change the host name management okay and also here is when one and also when two and then dns and then default route only one default route and firewall policy and if i go back 
so on hq firewall what you need to do keep in mind on the lan you need to remember that 40 manager access is allowed on the data center firewall uh, you need to enable 40 manager on either port 1 or port 2 so that we can access them so s enable on uh, sorry data center firewall if i go to when one so i enable here 40 manager on when one because from 40 manager i will access this device through 40 manager so this service is has to be enabled similarly on this port one so let's go if i miss them so we can enable now yes enable so on 40 manager is allowed and only ping is allowed for test purpose so here uh, let me remind you 40 manager is allowed on this port here and here on this port because we will need this later on so i enable 40 manager access on this interface 40 manager access on this interface and 40 manager access on this interface because from here we're gonna reach to this one to register then through when we will reach here to register this one and then here to register okay so we need to allow 40 manager access which is allowed and firewall policy is there to allow the traffic to reach there these firewall has to be reachable to each other so if i execute ping uh 192.168.1.1 1 .1, so i can ping 1.1 .1, 2.1 these are the two WAN interface and also the data center is 5.1 so all these devices are reachable through public IP. Okay, uh, 2.1, so I ping from here. 3.1, I ping 2.1, I ping 1.1, and I ping 5.1. So it means if they are reachable, so definitely they are also reachable. So you just need to verify that the reachability is there because through when they are reachable and the policy is there and also default route are there. If you remember, we have a route there so uh, that's why they are reachable that's it that's the basic configuration you need to do uh, before we can move on and we can do so this was the uh, firewall configuration next we need to configure this client machine so they are ready okay